Hey, baby. Hey. Breakfast in the garden. Yeah, let's go find a little place to sit. You want to sit in the garden or you want to sit out here in the grass? Alright. You want to say hi, Grace? God is grace. God is good. Let us thank Him for our food. Amen. Yeah. Yeah! So it's a Tuesday morning, and my lovely darling here is making me a hole in between these two acorn squash for this black crimp tomato. <laughs> After this, we have some homeschool lessons, right? Mm -hmm. Look, a wormy. Worms. And then tonight, we have Girl Scouts. Right? Those calm days that I love so much. Look at the butterflies. And then we're gonna let the chickens out of the coop, right? Yep. Look, <laughs> more worms. Lots of worms. So me and my buddy, we just put a black creme in the middle. There's two acorn squash on the side. I believe they're acorn squash. I can't remember. So here we go again this season. And we also threw probably about eight uh, asparagus beans down in there and what I'm going to do uh, probably later on this afternoon if I get the chance is I'm going to come back and put maybe a sunflower here a sunflower there and put some corn here and some corn there um, and that's it hey you got your little buddy over there I'm a little buddy over here yeah and this is a chocolate cherry tomato I had her put some um, mulch around it it's there it's there <laughs> and uh, with that being said <coughs> Bless you from the Garden of Theodore. This is the area me and my little girl did. That's the uh, black crim right there. This is an acorn squash, I believe. Those are beans we have coming up around it. That's another squash. We also put down some corn and sunflowers. I don't see any of those coming in, but either way. The beans are looking good, the squash is looking good, and the black crim is nice and large. So, looks like it's bushing rather than coming straight up. But either way, yeah, that's how it looks. It looks good. It's about a month ago we put it down, so, and it's already flowering. Remember this little thing? Well, that's the chocolate cherry right there, a little cutling I put down. I had to protect it when the lawnmower man was out here cutting the grass. But it's there, it's looking good. Uh, it's a lot larger than it was. The chickens aren't quite messing with it. That don't mean they won't. I'm going to have to block it off though because when the fruit comes on there they're going to start eating it. But it's small but it's a lot bigger than it was. Check it out, check it out. This is my mighty mighty acorn squash plant. Look at that. Look how big that is. So it's coming along just well. This is the black crim that my daughter planted. And this is another type of gourd or squash right there. Well, this little area is doing mighty fine. I just hope we don't get those squash bugs like we got last year. They were horrible. But all in all, can't complain. Peace. This right here is overnight. The video I just posted before this one was taken yesterday. Today is the day before Father's Day. Look at this. Lightning bug. Look at how large this is. Overnight. Look at that. It's Father's Day. And look at all this good stuff out here. Look at that. And look at this. Look at this big old beautiful chocolate cherry tomato yep. 
For some reason, a lot of my plants are kind of bushing this year, but I'm not mad. Look, there's a lot of uh, potential for fruit on there. So, yep. Can't wait, and there's some good beans coming in down there, too. All right, it's going to look good. Peace. All right, look what we got here. I just came out here on this early morning because I'm getting ready to go pick up Theodora and bring her back to the farm. And uh, I see a beautiful acorn squash right there. See it? Now I have seen some squash bugs here. So hopefully they won't mess with anything. And um, yeah, with that said, hopefully we'll be eating this guy within a matter of weeks. Uh, there's nothing on this one. Yeah, it is a real little teeny one right there. But yeah, that's it. These black crims are looking good. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodore. I'm out watching the pollinators pollinate. Kind of making sure there's no hornworms on my black crim over here. The bees are buzzing. What do you see, buddy? I see a black crim right over here. Come from this side. Alright. It's a little leaf up right under there. See it? Yep, way down at the bottom. Yep. It's looking good. Looking good. Oh, Ooh, that's prickly. <laughs> you do not reach your hand down there. It's too prickly. You just break my arm. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, I see a squash. See. Ouch! Look at the tomato coming way out here. Look. This thing is looking Where's beautiful. Where's the squash? Hidden in there under the leaves. <gasps> You're see right! Yep. You can learn a lot from the flowers. Oh, I see. I see one. Well, at least now I know what this plant is. Patty pan squash. That's right. How do I know? Because I looked in and this was on the ground. Along with uh, another one that's molding down there. So maybe I should take that out before it has a chance to uh, bring other pests and stuff. Ugh, this is disgusting. What is that? What is this? What's that? Well, space hogs. Better known to some as <laughs> squash bugs. They were destroying this thing right here. They destroyed this one. This is the area, black creme to uh, patty squash. They destroyed that one completely. They are working on this one. So I took a bunch of the leaves off. The chickens only like how the squash bugs taste though. I got my mixture here. You know, I've been hitting them up with the, with the soap water and all that good stuff. If you look deep in there, there's a patty squash, there's a patty squash. And there's another one right there, a white one. But yeah, the area is happening. Um, as far as the black creme goes, there is a huge one looking like a pumpkin right there. And there are some other ones hidden around here. Pardon the allergies. Please. But today is the day that we collect the patty squash. All right? right? Here, you record. Hold that. All right. All right. That's not recording. I don't think so. We're about to get the patty squash, right? Right. Alright. And you see the these aren't doing too well. The squash bugs and the space hogs done got to them really good. I'll back up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut them. Here's one. Wow, I didn't know there was three by squash. How many you thought it was? Two. Just two. 
Just in time, something's been scratching at it. Now, I don't know if uh, these are edible, but they should be. They're about the right size. See that? Yep. Very well. Awesome. Here's the other. And don't forget, please subscribe or just hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.